So I had the most luscious pothos and I may have neglected it a little bit. Okay, a lot. So here's how to fix it. You buy a new plant. And I didn't want just like a baby plant. I wanted a full mature trailing plant to replace it. And believe it or not, really nice mature plants are hard to find. And this is better than I imagined it. She's glorious. And this isn't a pothos. It's actually a philodendron Brazil. Look at that creamy stripe. But first things first, must check for pests. I do this for every new plant I bring home and I check the soil. I have PTSD from the last new plant I brought home that had spider mites. So I'm not playing around this time. This plant is getting a full on bath. This specific soap does get rid of pests and the peppermint is an added deterrent. Then my homemade insecticidal spray. Just for good measure and it makes the leaves nice and shiny. Need to turn off the grow lights while it's dry. So that takes care of the leaves but what about the soil? This is diatomaceous earth. It looks like microscopic shards of glass and it'll completely dehydrate any pests that get in contact with it like mites, fungus gnats, mealybugs, anything that might be in the soil. And it's completely all natural and safe. And when it's ready to water I'm going to use my anti-gnat drops in my watering can. This is how I keep my plants as pest free as possible. But what about this pothos? I have big plans for her as soon as I can free her. She's going to go outside into nature where it's nice, sunny, and beautiful.